And it's Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific time, and that means it's time for our live show. Really excited that Phoenix Van Dyke, Koopa International Educator, is here today, and is going to be our special guest in the midst of giving an educator training. Busy girl. Anyways, get a drink, get comfortable. We're going to be back in a minute. You don't want to miss this show. Koopa is proud to introduce Koopa Base Coat, a superior adhesive between nail plate and gel products without damage to the natural nail. Also, Koopa High Gloss and Koopa Matte Top Coats, both no wipe, an excellent sealer, and last two to four weeks. Now we have the Trio Pack, which include both high gloss and matte top coats and a free base coat. For more information, call 1-800-994-5872 or www.koopainc.com. Koopa is proud to announce two new additions to the Manny Pro Passport family. Introducing My Prince and My Princess. Complete with an acetone resistant control box and your choice of the KP60 or KP55 handpiece with speeds up to 30,000 RPMs. For more information, call 1 800 994 5872 or visit us online at www.koopainc.com. And welcome to another episode of Koopa TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Elaine Watson. I'm the host today. Yay. Jess is off. <laughs> my, my, my stand in, or am I now her stand in? I don't know. But it's her birthday. super, oh, today is, isn't it? Oh. Marissa just reminded me, <laughs> happy birthday, Jess. That's why she's not here today. Um, you guys are stuck with me. I'm really excited because Phoenix Van Dyke is in the house. <laughs> welcome, Phoenix. Hi. Normally I wait to introduce, but you're ready. I know, like, yeah, you're, you're, you're like homie, so like, oh, we're not going to make it formal. There she is again. Yeah, Phoenix <laughs> is an international educator with Koopa, and we have so much to tell you about why she's here. But before we do, I do need to announce that today's giveaway, super exciting, is the acrylic foundation kit, divinity kit. And to win that, make sure that you go to koopainc.com forward slash pages forward slash win. Rachel's going to put it in the link below so you can click it. Enter only one time. Stay in the chat, ask lots of questions, be here till the end, and we're going to pick a winner to get that lucky gift. If you're not a winner, don't worry, everybody's a winner. You can use KTV35 promo code today for 25% off. That's 25% off everything except warranty classes, the 24 karat rose gold passport, and the unicorn passport. Those are specialty colors, we can't discount them. Also, it's super exciting to announce another batch of Koopa Fan Faves. What are Koopa Fan Faves? Well, it's a new segment we added to the show because we want to show some of our, you know, our, our tech clients using our products who are sharing their work. So, if you want to be a member of the segment Koopa Fan Faves, what you need to do is post that work you're doing every time, every time, because it's good marketing, and hashtag it Koopa Fan Faves. That's K-U-P-A-F-A-N-F-A-V-E-S. And we're going to pick five faves every week to share. And this week's fan fave five are the first one, super cute. She's using our matte coat over those amazing electric blue nails is g -Loke Nails. I love this pair. Uh, golden blue are a favorite of mine. Uh, number two, our fan fave is Madrid Nail, I think, account. Loving the Winter Steelers look. I'm a fan of the, um, that, what do you call that? The, um, plaid. the plaid. Yeah. I don't know it's why like I can remember flannel, that word. When you plaid. lose your vocabulary. <laughs> the 
I love the plaid. It's better than just like your regular hatching. It's mm -hmm. cute. And then the third one, very festive for the holiday, is Ruby Yano On. And little Halloween going on. I love the sweater design. A little Christmas Santa Claus. Did you say Halloween? Did I say Halloween? You did say Halloween. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure she said Halloween. My brain went right? on uh, autopilot. <laughs> you know what? It's such a long intro now. <laughs> I use up on my brain cells in the first five seconds. All right. It's, it's yeah. Hallow it's Christmas. Hallow Santa. You got an ornament. <laughs> got a little snowflake. There's a little smorgasbord of everything going on. Number four is L.A. Nails. L.A. Nails, I'm guessing, probably mm -hmm. in L.A. Uh, using our, you know, Gelfinity gloss top coat, which is amazing. You know what I love about that picture so much is that they actually mm -hmm. were holding one of our bottles, yeah. and it looks so nice. Like that kind of yeah. stance is great. We we particularly love the fan phase yeah. when they show the product. Yeah, too. Hint, hint. You want to get on the list? <laughs> throw, Just throw saying. The product spotlight in there. <laughs> and then our fifth and final fan fave today is Nails by Tashad, out of Fullerton, California, actually. Super, look, blue, white, French's back, you said. I said French's back. Phoenix keeps saying pink and whites are back, but this is a play on it. And kind of sort of the color combo, you know? Yeah, it is. Blue and white there. We are. Yeah, so that's our five fan faves. Before I throw it over to Phoenix, though, I do want to announce, we have a very special, exciting announcement. Phoenix isn't just here for Facebook Live today. <laughs> um, those of you who are lucky enough to tune in on Monday, Phoenix gave a very detailed file class all day. Yeah. And we went live, education's free, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she was here for that. But even more exciting are Tuesday and Wednesday work that Phoenix is doing, and that is training two new educators yeah. to the Koopa team. And their educator faces, you guys all know really well because they've been on the show. Mm -hmm. And that's Brittany Chin and Patricia Morgan. So here's Yay. Brittany because she's modeling today. Uh, what she does uh, is Patricia's sitting over here. Her. Live yeah. on, live look, there's her, 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 her bright orange arm. And super, super awesome announcement to make is Patricia's pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Due to have she's little girl in May. I'm really excited. She's cute. She's, she's a cute little pregnant. Little Koopa, Koopa yeah. baby. Yeah. So we're going to have Koopa baby on the team. Yeah. yeah. I know. So, yeah, really excited that now when you see them on the show, you'll know that they're Koopa educators, mm -hmm. not just Koopa fans. Yeah. And, and, and amazing artists. Yeah. So Super official. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Patricia's like, yes. That would be us. <laughs> <laughs> so, Phoenix, enough of my yeah. rambling, because clearly my brain can't handle it. We're uh, back to Halloween. It's okay. Um, <laughs> tell everybody what's going on with you. Um, you know, not a lot. I have mm -hmm. been um, just in Florida doing some stuff with my family, with my kids, with my husband, um, enjoying that we have beautiful weather all year round. This is my second winter in Florida. I'm hooked. I love it there. Absolutely love it there. Um, but coming here to California is always a wonderful privilege. And being able to have the online education on Monday was really great. Um, Elaine, you and I were talking a little bit this morning about mm -hmm. um, how important it is that we feel that education, particularly good education, is available online. Now, some people may say, well, that's kind of irresponsible to be having e-file education mm -hmm. online, right? We're not certifying anybody who comes online to watch our education. But with the inundation of bad education, that was a lot of unchinchins, <laughs> that it was. <laughs> um, with, with this huge influx of bad education, we really felt we needed to combat it mm -hmm. with good education, high quality education. And we owe it to you guys as nail techs at home. Not everybody can afford to come to Koopa headquarters. We realized that. We wished everybody could. But the next best thing is for us to come to you right through the, mm -hmm. your mobile devices, through your computers, and we can still give you that education. Yeah. So um, it was, like we said, we're not certifying. It was a struggle. Yeah. It was a struggle for us to decide to do this because I have the same mentality as Phoenix. You know, e-filing is something that should be trained in person. But Absolutely. you guys don't know if the education you're getting on YouTube or on social media is qualified. Yeah. Uh, it may seem it to an inexperienced person. They might not know the difference, but so in order to, you know, 
counteract that we want you to know that you can mm -hmm. always get our high quality yeah. you know it's as if you were here the only difference is we can't certify people because we can't test your ability right and that's us being responsible I can't give you a certificate if I don't know if you're skilled enough to have that certificate Right. I'm here and you will be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's really the, the entire difference yeah. is we need to be able to see you hands-on. We want to yeah. look at how you're holding your e-files, making sure you're not causing uh, permanent damage to your clients as they come in. Um, this really was, it was kind of like a moral dilemma because we hold our education in such high esteem. And we really, it came down to the benefit of the majority of the nail techs that we can give this to you at home. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you appreciate it. If you do, I'm gonna ask that you share this live as much as you can. Yeah. Um, share the live that we had on Monday as much as you can. You can actually download the free workbook. You can so, download the free workbook and it's still gonna be up mm -hmm. indefinitely because it was a, it was technically a live. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. after the recording ended, it, it stays up on the website you can on our Facebook page you can yeah. download it indefinitely so if you missed it you didn't miss it just to let you know it is in two parts because you can only go four hours long so we yeah. did kind of theory with a little demo in the first three hours mm -hmm. broke for lunch and there's a second so when you're looking for it make sure you look for two for two parts a lot yeah. of people in the chat were people who were here on Monday thank you again and they are thankful <laughs> because here. that's all I keep seeing and I kept seeing in the mm -hmm. chat on Monday mm -hmm. was thank you know Everybody just saying thank you so thank you. much for yeah. doing this. It yeah. makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Well, and it makes me feel very grateful to Richard Herter and Elaine Watson for bringing me here because, mm -hmm. you know, it takes time and effort and everything to come to California. I love coming here, but for them to say, hey, let's bring Phoenix here. She knows how to do this. Let's, you know, teach online and uh, really appeal to that large target audience. That's really what we wanted to do. So. We hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed putting it on. It Lucy really Price is so cute because she was here. Yeah, she and I were texting during the show <laughs> on Monday. So as I can say, after watching and going to demos, <laughs> I saved so many nails that were super damaged and now super healthy. Yes. So there's there like that alone makes it all worth it. That's right, that's right. And of course, not only having the highest education, but having the highest quality tools that you're able to use. Um, Koopa has been known for our e-files. We actually invented the e-file. Mm -hmm. So how much yeah, a lot of people better don't know that. It, to get that kind of knowledge from somebody who would be the authority, not mm -hmm. just a authority, the authority. Yeah. So that's important to recognize that. Uh, don't forget to I'm monitoring the chat. So if you have any questions for Phoenix as she does her demo and talks today, even if you have questions for Brittany or Patricia, mm -hmm. or Patricia. We're hanging yeah. out here, <laughs> or Marissa running the camera. <laughs> I don't know. It's but like anyways, the if you have questions, <laughs> definitely give them to me in chat. That's my job. Um, Christina Al Alvello, can you post the link in to download? I don't know that it's a download link because it's Facebook. So if you go to Coop Inc. Facebook page mm -hmm. and you click it's on live any of our live videos they're all there and these from Monday are particularly going to be at the top because they're brand new mm -hmm. um, Rachel may be able to copy and paste the link but it's it's right there in Facebook you're here so yeah enough of me send me your questions yeah we're gonna, we're gonna do some demos today so I want um, to show you guys Brittany's beautiful hands okay so of course We've used Brittany before as a model. Um, we were just kind of doing a couple fun things this morning, testing a couple fun things out. So I'm gonna tuck that pretty little finger back there. But look at these beautiful nails. You guys, these are her natural nails. <laughs> now, if a customer walked into your salon and said, I want a full set of nails and you saw these, what would you do? I'll tell you what I would do. I would say you don't need a full set of nails. Let's talk about what it is you want to achieve. And if she says, I just want a little added strength, okay, you know what, we're gonna do an overlay. That's what we're gonna do today. Mm -hmm. Because this kind of length, this natural, it's so beautiful. And to do a full set with proper structure, as you guys know, I would come through and I would end up cutting all of these natural nails off mm -hmm. and custom form fitting and doing all of that, but 
who wants to do that when your nails grow like this, <laughs> right? So we know that's a little bit of a spin on maybe what you were expecting today, but because her natural nails are so beautiful, I'm gonna show you how we can do an overlay over these nails that still have a fun wintry feel to them, something that's going to be able to continue on, you know, all the way through January, February, March, you know, it's still wintry. So before it's time for the fun spring colors to come mm -hmm. out, so. Uh, everybody's agreeing. Mindy Jones says those nails are gorgeous. Aren't they? Lucy Perez yeah. says dip. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, Yaz Villanova says I, I'll do an overlay. Mm -hmm. All our top fans. Mm -hmm. I have a quick question by Lucy Perez I'm going to answer. Sure. Um, she says, do I do have a question. I never knew the cord can get damaged on the passport. How does that happen and how can I prevent it from getting damaged? Oh, great and so question. So if it hasn't happened to you, Lucy, you're being a good girl. Because mm -hmm. if it happened, you'd know what you were doing wrong. Mm -hmm. But the biggest mistake some people make is when they go to unplug their handpiece instead of holding it at the at the the main part of the cord that goes in. Can I have that? Yeah, here. Let me um, do a cord. There so you go. when you unplug this from your control box, hold it by this. A lot of mistakes people make is when they unplug a cord and they hold it by the cord, not by the actual plug. Mm -hmm. That's a lesson for any electrical device. That's a common thing. Sometimes people too, when they have their e-files at the edge of their table and they have drawers that come in and out, mm -hmm. they're slamming the drawer on the cord that's hanging. That totally can happen. And then the last one I've seen, and oh my gosh, I saw this in the UK and it, I wanted to take the e-file <laughs> because I felt like unfit mother. This was so, like if you continually pick this up, turn it and put it down, pick it up, turn it, put it down. Eventually what'll happen is, these will kink up mm -hmm, like this. Mm -hmm. This wasn't only kinked to death, it was like stretched to the max. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far away this person was moving from their control mm -hmm. box, but they had stretched it to the max and they had twisted and kinked it to mm -hmm. a point where it was like a Rubik's Cube trying to get it undone. And then at that point, if a lot of nail technicians have chairs that are on wheels and if you end up rolling mm -hmm. over your cord, you know, basically if you can visualize inside of this cord are hundreds of tiny little wires that have all been twisted together to make this a perfect electrical circuit to from yeah. your battery pack to your motor. And if you are severing those, um, within mm -hmm. time it's going to start shorting out. That's another way that you know you're damaging your, mm -hmm. your hand piece. So. Love your machine. Treat it like the high quality machine it is. It's not right. a Dremel. It's not, not a woodworking tool. It's, not. it's a high quality machine. It's the Bentley. Teresa Brinkman <laughs> says, I get my Phoenix fix today. Teresa! <laughs> Somebody hi. finally said it, Phoenix fix. I almost wanted to go, let's see how long we can go into the broadcast before somebody <laughs> says, Phoenix, says fix. Phoenix fix. You know, um, sweet Teresa the other day, she, uh, she had said she was just kind of feeling a little down in the dumps, like maybe. Um, you know, we all kind of get those winter blues, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I am so glad to see you here. Thanks for popping in. And don't worry, you guys are going to see more of me. I had to hide out for a little while. <laughs> so what we're doing right now, I've actually just pushed back Brittany's cuticles just a smidge. Um, I'm going to come and do preparation the same way that you would for an enhancement. But I want her nails, her natural nails, to be all kind of the nice same shape. And we're going to use some of the new products today. I'm really excited about these. Um, you know, nudes have been a big, big deal mm -hmm. for quite some time. Well, now we have the entire nude collection here, and I'm going to use one of them as a cover pink. So, you know, we have a cover pink, and it's beautiful but this one gives you just a little bit more of an opaque coverage, and I am super excited about yeah, that. Yeah, me too. So. This is when you can say Elaine had a little influence. Yes. I am <laughs> nudie patootie to death. I love nude. I like changing my nudes with like a shimmer or something, but yeah, having a new collection was something I just really wanted. <laughs> And I'm so glad everybody else did too. Oh yes, I'm so excited, yeah. so excited. So I'm using um, the Easy Off Mandrel with a fine sanding band and just barely on the lowest setting. Um, one of the things we really talked about and pounded in on Monday was that there's only three things that are allowed on the natural nail and that would be this the enhancement prep bit and the manicure bit. Those are the only three things that are allowed on the natural nail. So we really talked a lot about that. 
But when I'm getting ready to prepare for a customer with a full set, or in this case, an overlay, this is my preferred method. Easy sanitizing, you take it off and throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> right? I even, a lot of people use the top half of the sanding band, so mm -hmm. you can even use the top half for one hand and then take and the then band, flip, flip it, it over, over and yeah. have a freshie for the other hand Brilliant. and not waste them. Brilliant. Um, uh, Karen Berryman, wow, her natural nails are amazing. Are they? Oh my <laughs> yeah. goodness. Nancy Moore, yes, send me nudes. Ha ha, I need to buy those. Everybody does. Send me nudes. Yeah. Jo <laughs> Sorry, that just like, like clicked in my jo head. Jolila Stinnett. Do you oh, Jolila, jo yeah. Jolila. Good oh, morning, yes. Phoenix. Hey. <laughs> Yolanda Gutierrez already asked Santa for her Manny Pro. <laughs> oh, that's good. We were saying that, that there's this list I heard that people put together this time of yeah. year. So, mm -hmm. Dear Santa. You also notice that I'm actually really just going parallel to the natural nail. This is not um, where you dig down ever. You always stay parallel to the natural nail. And you'll also notice, I'll show you again here, you go up around the outside, across the back, and then down the other side. And then you come down the natural nail plate this way, not crisscross. It's like uh, I was saying on Monday, it's like taking it down the grain of wood. You mm -hmm. would never sand against the grain. Mm -hmm. It's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. For me, it's uncomfortable. I feel it's like petting a dog's fur backwards. Well, we did it. We, I need to redo this because they got corrupted. But mm -hmm. we did a under the microscope. Uh, using the e-file and looking at the natural nail and we found when you're using an e-file your hand is easier to control and come down in straight lines and go with the grain mm -hmm. as opposed to when you do the same thing with a hand file you get a little bit of cross line mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can control it with the e-file. I've got to get Valerie's that reshot. On. Valerie's on? Hey oh, Valerie! Val. Say hi <laughs> Valerie Ducharme and TNA winner. We're getting dangerously close to starting our next season of the Nails, uh, well, let's call it Koopa uh, NTNA Recap Show. Yes. <laughs> Beth is going to be my co-host again this year. We have her for the entire season. It starts January 2nd, Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Yeah. Pacific time. So we've done all of our filing, pushed our pushed cuticle back. Everything has been prepped on her natural nails. The next step is piece, which is the number one. This mm -hmm. is our, na our nail preparation, our pH balance. So we'll go ahead and use that. And I always, it's like I warn my customers, I say this is gonna feel a little bit cold. And really what it's doing is just really bringing everything back to that natural pH where your nail is prepared to receive an enhancement. It doesn't matter if that's a gel or if it's a dip or if it's um, an acrylic, either one of those. If you're in Canada and you're looking for a Coupa e-file and maybe some education or repairs, Valerie Ducharme is now an official member of Team Coupa. She was here for training. And then Mindy Jones said, I've been asking Santa, God, friends, and family to get me a unicorn passport, <laughs> LOL. So I really, really hope, Mindy, you get one. I was kind of thinking asked God right should people. probably be before yeah, really? Santa. <laughs> well, God's busy. God's God's busy. God. Santa is about the gifts, so God's the backup plan. Santa should be listening. That's just my that's my take on it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, what would oh, my priorities yeah. be? <laughs> See, and we've been talking about swag, yes. and they keep reminding me. I know, Mindy. Mindy says I'm I'm still waiting for my top Koopa top fan pen. <laughs> like we oh, need our swag. We, we need do. to get the swag thing going. We've been oh, making... Valerie's giving her first class Monday. <gasps> Fantastic. Oh my god, I want to be a fly on the wall. I would fly there. I just want to hear her speak. <laughs> oh, I would love that. That lovely French accent. Oh my god. Okay, so now everything is prepared. And we're going to do a couple different things today. So, we have our monomer. And you, I'm using the Divinity Sculptor. This is my very favorite. It's at the number 10. Um, it was so funny, a couple people are like, that's such a tiny brush. You know what, this brush is perfect for my style. It's not a hard and fast rule. Some people like something bigger, some people like something smaller. The importance is making sure your ratios are good and that your customers are happy. You don't have lifting or breaking or cracking. Those are the things you need to be concerned about. So if you're able to achieve that with a different size brush, then that's fine. And I know all of you have had this happen. I don't know if you can see that stray wayward 
I don't know if you can see it. It's oh, really the hard. Hair. Do you see the wonky you can hair? See it. Okay, so <laughs> you know, this brush just gets a haircut. This is a all good way down. This is a good example mm-hmm. for newbies because that's something none of us think about. Mm-hmm. If you pull that hair out, you lose the tightness of the pinched ferrule of the brush. Right here. That's how you start losing more hair. So you can always see, cut yeah, so this is the pinched ferrule, and I like it when it's pinched. I've seen some that are completely round. I like the pinch. I feel like I have a little bit more control within my belly as long as this is always at the top. So when you take and cut that wonky hair, just go all the way down to the top and just snip, but never pull it out, okay? Mm-mm. It's like starting to unravel um, a sweater. <laughs> yeah, don't, do don't that. pull the thread. Don't pull the thread. <laughs> And then this is just one of my little tricks. I don't know if Marissa can get it on the side camera, but I just pour I it actually down. learned this after starting to work at Koopa. Mm-hmm. How many years I either used a little squeegee thing to, and yeah. drop it in the dappin yeah. dish, but yeah, when, when I started working here, one of the educators taught me. And that. that's just our traditional um, structure monomer from the Koopa Divinity set, which is included mm-hmm. in your kit, or whoever wins that amazing yeah, the foundation, foundation kit. kit, you'll get to try that out so mm-hmm. okay now I want to do first and foremost a cute little nail that is just a solid pale blue but let's talk about that for just a second so I'm going to do this color which is Kelsey if you can see that and I make a little dot on the top of my label so at quick glance I know exactly what's mm-hmm. in the container this is also a good tool to use for your customers because they may look at it and say, wow, that's a really baby, baby blue, because that's what it looks like. It's like they don't understand that the second you add monomer to it, the color changes. Mm -hmm. So this is a good representation of what it will look like. And if you want a true, true representation, um, Top Coat and Cure will actually give it the Mm -hmm. nice shiny look, so just as a thought. But I'm gonna put this on the entire nail, a full coverage on Brittany's nail. But let's say that in three weeks, we have to think kind of like a chess match. In three weeks, She's gonna come back and she's not going to want this. She's gonna want, you know, black with gold sparkles. Well, as we take our e-file and we start removing that color, we don't wanna have to go all the way down to the natural nail. Not only will that cause damage to what Brittany's beautiful nails look like, but that also adds a lot of extra time and work for me. So what we're going to do is take a clear, just a very, very, very thin layer of clear acrylic down across the bottom before we add our our beautiful Kelsey to the top. Um, That way we know we can come through, file off the color, and put a different color on when she comes back in three weeks. So that's just, if you have never done that before, it's just something to remember. Marcy Burns says dot. Yes. Just like you. Good, 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 I love it. We've got comments on the fact that you two hair match. (laughs) (laughs) Valerie says she likes Brittany's hair, and then (laughs) Mindy Jones says, do you guys match? I feel left out of the red hair club. Oh my goodness. (laughs) I, uh, you know, I've been all over these different colors for the last probably year and a half. I've kind of been doing some different colors, and I really like this one a lot. Just because I have a question I don't know the answer to, I'm going to look it up. So this is going to be just a one ball that's very, very, very thin, and I'm pulling it all the way down her natural nail. because we don't need to add bulk, we just want a nice thin layer, nothing huge. And the reason I want this a solid blue is because we are gonna do something really, really cute as a little form of artwork right at the very end of our life. So I got a question about what's in the foundation kit and I wanna just really quick go, uh, half ounce each of these clear white pink natural powders, structured traditional liquid, odorless liquid, peace, uh, Love Harmony, which is our prep, primer, and cuticle oil. Glaze Top Coat, the number eight acrylic sculpting brush. Infinity Forms, 10 of them. Shaper Buffer File, and Dappen Dish. So no, the 3D Art monomer is not in there. So if you want it, make sure you add it on your order from either the Coop app or the coopink.com website. Yeah, so how many people have downloaded the app? I want to hear about these people who love oh the God. app. The app is awesome. I actually just went and looked that up on the app instead of going to the website. See? That's awesome. Karen Berryman says, I love watching Phoenix apply acrylic. It's mesmerizing. (laughs) Thank you. I feel kind (laughs) of like it's dancing. (laughs) 
<laughs> I was about to go, Patricia Morgan says, this design will be so cute, so keep watching. <laughs> it's like me and Lucy the other day. <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> we have had such a wonderful time here for the last um, few days, you know, not just with doing the online training, but then mm -hmm. having the new educator training as well. Mm -hmm. It has been so great. And, you know, Kuka has such an amazing team. Um, I feel like that definitely starts at the top and comes down. So, you know, Richard is an amazing boss and he takes such good care of us. Um, and that's why when he does what he does, that's why we can do what we do. So if you see him at any of the shows, you tell him that he's a good man. We're getting a lot of people with their hands up yeah. on the app. Oh, good. Yeah, Lucy Great. Perez, Nancy Moore, Kate LeDrew. Like, everybody is just there. And Lauren Stacy, uh, Laura Stacy says, ooh, what a pretty blue. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I had pulled this out the other day, and I was like, that's really pretty. And then I pulled a pink. I was like, no, that looks like a gender reveal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. And we already Speaking know of gender reveals, John Weaver, yay for Guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I love the app. Purchased all my Koopa products from it. Way to go, John. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, I see a little tiny corner over here. Alyssa Schmidt has the app. Everybody. That is so awesome. It's all our top, like our top people definitely do by now. I just love that. I love this color. Mm hmm. And with what we get to do with it later is so cute. So, so, so cute. We wanted to do something that was easy but different. Mm hmm. I'm going to turn your hand just a little bit. You see, there's like a little spot here. I'm going to fill that in. Hazel just logged in. Hazel, Hazel Dixon is our head of our UK team. Yes. So if you're in the UK, Hazel's the person to go to for training and her amazing I, team of eight. We have like a mm -hmm. cool team. We gotta get an international training. They'll get everybody here. Yes. I know Dave, Hazel's gonna say yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, please. She really <laughs> wants to come and sit as everybody else. So we need it, we need an international training. Maybe in March. That date we were that talking about, we should amazing. do it and then. That would be to talk to, the, talk to the big boss about that. The big boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before I do any filing or anything, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next nail that I want to do. And this one, we're going to do an extended nail bed. And this is where I'm going to use one of the new nude colors. So this is the Beautifully Bare. And once again, I did a little dot across the top. Now we have an entire collection. I'm just going to pull a couple of them out here so you guys can see them. Look at how awesome these colors are and actually if you line it up vertically like flip it around or still get it on camera like that the top, oh or unless you're going to get the top uh oh dots. i didn't know which ones you were going for i know yeah i never know which co which there we go I was going vertically my I, way. Yeah. <laughs> but Marissa's sighting. And there's, we'll um, there's a couple more here as well. Anyways, yeah, those the are topping, the top the camera top is not being focusing. crazy. So I like the human better. Yeah, okay, we're moving. <laughs> okay, we're using beautifully there. There we go, Marissa. Okay, <laughs> Teresa Brinkman, I'm listening to you. We're gonna have to just do a Facebook live using the odor list sometime soon. Oh yeah. So are you going to be doing odorless monomers sometimes? I have it but find it difficult to use. Okay. I find most people only use it to get through state boards and then they typically don't choose to continue to use it but mm -hmm. you never know so we that's a good I need a list of people to do anyway oh and then she she lost us for a minute okay so we're gonna use this as our cover pink and we're going to do very thin extended nail bed whoops let me grab that did again that was a human mistake wasn't it all right here we go right in the middle and make sure you feather back so that means angling your brush ever so slightly to feather backwards the reason we do that we don't want a line of demarcation and for those of the those of you that have never worked like under camera it gets very warm very quickly so your acrylic sets up very fast Lucy Perez says it's so hard to pick just one favorite nude. I agree. Uh, you just and need the whole collection. Rosa Vargas says it got my collection. Wow, they are beautiful color. My clients love them. Mm -hmm. Rosa, I'm going to have words with uh, the Mr. Zuckerberg because I don't know where your fan fa your fan fave went. Your top fan. Top fan. Yeah. They're, they're mean. They take them away. That's not Too cool. easily. You know, we, she got a life. She might not. Well, maybe she wasn't here last week. Where's we deem cat? you fan fave. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to grab just another little tiny bead. And we'll go right back here. 
to kind of complete that Aww. look. Well, Mayra Franklin was one of our winners and got her collection already. She says, Yay. love, love, love them. Yes. And I think it's wonderful. All of the names are definitely um, in regards to skin, you know, like the newborn was one of them, things like that. Um, and I like that we have kind of a, a, like a frosty one that's on both ends of the spectrum. Like mm. if you have cool skin tone or if you have a warm skin tone, yeah. which is really cool. And I don't know um, if many of you know how to like decipher if they have a warm skin tone or a cool skin tone, but it's actually, if you can look at your veins in their hands mm -hmm. and if they're blue, they're cool. And if they're green, they're warm. Oh, I didn't so, even know that. Yeah, that's, that will help you. And you can mix colors, too. Yes, and we so, are getting ready to yeah, do that. Yeah, if you want to customize, <laughs> like, it's like makeup. You know, uh -huh. you want to customize the right tone to match somebody's skin tone or their nail plate tone, then mixing them is okay, too. We tried to give you a little of all the spectrum so you can mm -hmm. mix in between. So then it's going to be like your perfect foundation. Mm -hmm. So we did the and the Beautifully Bare is what we started with. Okay, we did that one. And now we're just going to do an ever so thin layer of pink, which this one is translucent. You can see right through it. The reason I like to do that is um, the light can shine through that onto your cover of pink, which gives it a more natural appearance. If you just leave the cover of pink, it ends up looking kind of like a fake press on nail, which we don't want that. So mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and do a real thin layer of that. And something I learned in competition training is that if you can bring it out just a smidge past your smile line that you made here, you get a real crisp edge, okay? So just a, a little trick. Teresa Brinkman is so funny. She goes, you got one for the whitest redhead ever. I need that one. We got it. Girl, got I got it. you covered because I'm as white as it comes. <laughs> yeah, we're, we tend to be the um, cooler tones, pinks and blues in there. Mm -hmm. Um, and see. to mix them is really such a cool concept. Oh, like Mayra Franklin, so nice. She says, yeah, the names match color perfectly, which mm -hmm. I was going for. That makes me happy. Um, I don't see any questions for you yet, so you can keep going. Aw. That's one of the things I feel like maybe I talk so much I don't give you guys an opportunity. Or maybe I'm You're just answering, answering them. them. <laughs> you make my job so easy. China Coco, hey, girl. How many colors of cover powder? Technically, out of all of the 48, there's a lot in there. But of the nudes, they're all covers. Mm -hmm. And we also have a cover pink in the Divinity line mm -hmm. anyway. So we have, what, eight? And then the cover, then, Yeah, so the nine. cover, so nine. Mm -hmm. But really, like, there's a lot of colors that are completely opaque. Mm -hmm. So they're all cover, really. Most of them, like, there's a few. But the cover pinks, I totally know what you're mm -hmm. talking about. Cover pink became, like, yeah. some, I was like, wow, this is incredible. So I want to show you how that every single one of these the triptych colors, all of the Dipfinity colors, like we've talked about how they're super bang for your buck, right? Like you get them for um, acrylic sculpting, you can use them as a liquid and powder, you can use them for your dipping with the Dipfinity system, with the gel adhesive by Koopa, and then you can use them for 3D, which with our structure, our 3D structure monomer. But people think, well, there's only 48 colors. There's really a whole lot more opportunity than that. These are all mixable. You can mix them together to do like fun little things. Um, I kind of look like a mad scientist in my little studio because I have all of these empty containers. I'm like, we're gonna add a little this, and add a little this, and add a little this, okay? So we're gonna kind of do the same thing today. Now what I did is I took a color that is the pretty blue that we were using, that's the Kelsey. And we're just gonna shake just a smidge in here. And I don't have an empty container. If I had thought about it, I would have grabbed one. We're just gonna mix it in here. So we're gonna do, do the top. Then we're gonna grab this one, which is the Madame Bejeweled. And that is this real pretty silver, silver, excuse me. This has, um, it's very fine, very, very fine. So it's gonna come through your powders a little bit differently. So I'm gonna grab my little Nancy Moore pressure. says, you answered questions she didn't even know she had because <laughs> so, you are very detailed. But while you're talking about the powder, um, oh, it, it, they go by so quick and then I lost it. <laughs> I was trying to save it because I know what the question is, but I want to give it. Okay, Amira Franklin, uh -huh. can you also use the powder as dip? 
Yes. So you should explain that. Sure can. Okay, but hold on just one second. Yeah. Okay, I'm also going to take a little bit of this Bianca, which is this real pretty sparkly blue, and where the glitter flecks that are in here, it's actually suspended in a clear, so you're going to get some of those bigger chunks of glitter in this mixture. Okay, so on to the question about can you use these with dip? Yes, you absolutely can, and it is because they contain... Um, what is the initial? Okay, it would be our dip. Our dip only, yeah, correct. Because we have benzoyl peroxide in yes. our powder, BP. which makes it Thank set you. up with monomer. Mm -hmm. But if you want to use our powders, say with a cyanoacrylate dip, which is glue, you know, if it burns your nose, burns your eyes, then you want to stay away from this powder because you, you need BPO free. Yes. But the beauty of ours is because our dip system, uh, Dipfinity can use a powder with benzoyl peroxide, our powders are good for everything in Koopa. Art 3D, ombre, uh, monomer, and dip. That's the yep. big scientific That's, answer. Yeah, the big one. All I could think of was BP. BPO. I knew the, yeah, it was yeah. like BP. BPO. BPO, which is benzoyl peroxide. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep, got that it. was all. <laughs> I, told, I totally uh, caught her off guard because it's all right. she she was hot on this yesterday. <laughs> you were talking about it yesterday. It's like when day I three. In. <laughs> it's yeah. day three. My brain's like, Phew. I know, you've been doing so much. <laughs> okay, so we just kind of mixed those three together, and I didn't shake them. If you had a container, you know, you could shake them and get them really, really mixed. But I just kind of went through like this and made them a little marbly right within this container. And I'm going to remove or take it from my liquid straight to my powder with kind of a little mixture. So we're gonna do that on this pretty nail. Alyssa Schmidt's asking me about a 4D gel to do artwork with. That not yet is in the mix, but I have like several projects going on, so we always have new stuff coming, but it, they're a little ways out. <laughs> and not that it really needed much of a file, but I just like to take my file and run it across this extended nail bed, that smile line, just to make sure it's nice and crisp. Jennifer Nail Nana works here. She says she loves her dip nails and so do my clients. And mm -hmm. she's always posting her dip finity. Mm -hmm. I love her posts. And I love when the dip finity, it comes looking so clean and crisp. It's so nice when those mm -hmm. cuticles are so good. Mm -hmm. um, we've been talking a lot about when you're posting photographs of your work, like really good ways to mm -hmm. hold your hands, uh, different things, never throwing a lot of cuticle oil across the cuticles and <laughs> flooding mm -hmm. those wells. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this little homemade mixture here, oh, as I touch the bottom of the plastic. Omarva Franklin says, will you be coming to Kissimmee, Florida anytime soon? Which isn't far from you, but I was gonna say, aren't we there right now? Yeah. Because you're yeah. watching <laughs> us. That's the beauty of digital. We're there now. Look at how fun this color is. Mm, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. It's kind of fun. Pretty smile line. I love when we can give a good smile line and not have to work too hard at it. You know, in the olden days where you had to do the white first. <laughs> yeah. Now you don't have Athena to. Athena Mijali is asking, do dip powder file the same as regular acrylic? Our system definitely, because mm -hmm. it wets out. When you're when I'm e-filing an acrylic nail or a dipfinity nail, if I didn't know how it was applied, I wouldn't know what it was. Correct. On the feel of it. The one thing to remember though, when you are filing our dip, and I know we're not even doing dip, but we are using those powders is you really need to make sure you use that number four gel top coat across the top of that dip before you go in to do your filing, okay? Mm -hmm. Before. Mm -hmm. If you do not and you um, start filing right across that freshly dipped, it'll actually start flaking off. So you have to complete that system. Make sure you do that before you come in and do your finished filing. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, you're good as gold. Are you using an eight or a 10? This is a 10. So, Karen Barton, what mm -hmm. brush do you use and where can I get one, please? Um, right <laughs> oh, here. Brush. You can <laughs> get that on the brush. Koopa app. Look at, isn't it pretty? Or koopainc.com. <laughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yeah, brushes are pretty. Oh, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, so beautiful. Absolutely love them. And I love that we have a lid for it, which is right here. Mm -hmm. Always love that it has a lid with a little hole at the top so it can breathe. So. Not like your nails, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep almost reading you. <laughs> I love Virginia's comment. 
comment because I never say that. What did like, you say? Okay, so um, I gotta find the original. It was from China. China gave me a really nice compliment. I'm too humble. I didn't. I wasn't gonna read it. Aww. She got me laying the brain. It was so great to be so inventive. Yeah, that's the Yoda. <laughs> we were joking. I said, you know, I'm of an age now where I've been doing this 24 years. I'm a Yoda. Um, and then Patricia is said, I love that she's licensed too, and so she's coming from the side of not just a user or a seller. And I don't always say that. I still have a main license. You can go to Maine uh, Cosmetology, Board of Cosmetology's website, search Elaine Watson. My license, it, I keep a license every October. I have to renew it. Mm -hmm. I am a licensed tech. And I want you guys to know that as educators, <laughs> that that's something that's very important to us. Like before we would ever let somebody teach you, we all have met those same credentials. We know what it's like to sit you behind our table. You can't fake it. Mm -mm. You, have, you, mm -mm. you can't even speak nails. Mm -mm. My translators can never translate because they don't speak nails. Well, you need to work on your translator. <laughs> Ooh, it's whenever you go to a different country. Oh, different country. I thought they you were like a professional your, translator. I was thinking like your phone. And when they're, when they're you know, when they're in, in the first five minutes of every seminar given in a foreign country, somebody who speaks English in the audience goes, they're not translating right. Because we speak our own language and it doesn't translate by a translator. However, something is really cool because uh -huh. I've taught in different countries where what I've been teaching has been taught in different languages. And you know, our body language says a lot. Mm. And it's like, if you pick up a file and go like this, yeah, it doesn't matter what language it is, they know that it's a file. Mm. And if you're like, like this, they know <laughs> to do that. So um, there is a universal language of nails as yeah. well, so. Yeah, when you're watching somebody demo, it's, yeah, it's you don't totally need to speak different. the same language. It's the seminar. In it's the, the five seminar. minutes of talking nails, it's always, I always end up dragging that English speaking person up on stage who's a nail tech and make them Here, trade. come and help me. Pretty. So we're doing just a little bit of a fade. I just kind of pulled through like three different styles today. Um, all with the same powder, and then we'll come through and we'll file them all, and then we'll do a little bit of fun artwork. Oh yeah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite powders. Mm -hmm. It's so I beautiful. I love holographic silvers, mm -hmm. not just metallic silvers. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. It's very unicorn. <laughs> it is very unicorn. And then just a tiny bit of our blue. We're gonna fade that. They need an well. emoji when you're in Facebook, not just like thumb up, live, love, laugh, cry. Like they need a, a blowing a kiss. Like I want to be able to blow kisses sometimes, <laughs> and it bugs me that I can't. China, I would have blown you a kiss there, but instead you're getting a heart. You can blow her a kiss on the camera. Yeah, <laughs> she's like that's just too cheeky, <laughs> too cheeky, too cheeky. I'm super cheeky. <laughs> Lucy says she loves uh, Madame Bejewel too, especially for winter. That's a very pretty nail. Mm -hmm. And we just picked like blues and silvers and whites because those colors are, they are wintry, they are festive. Um, we know that not everybody celebrates the same holiday. So oh. this is a nice way that we can keep, you know, in touch with everybody mm -hmm. and be able to offer a whole um, series to any of our clients, you know? There was that Adam Sandler song where he was saying like happy and he smashed all of the holidays together. Oh, boy, <laughs> yeah. You got she it. She knows it. <laughs> oh, you have to say it loud oh, enough God. for the microphone to hear. Happy Christmas Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. <laughs> <laughs> you just went up like a whole like 50 degrees of coolness that you even were able to do that. <laughs> She's in Maine. Yeah, she says 29 degrees here in Maine. Don't you miss it? Okay, where? Pam, Mainer, Mainer. You gotta tell us where in Maine you are. Uh, okay. Uh, um. Oh gosh, I almost said it. Athena. <laughs> Athena. <laughs> Mijali. Do dip powders set the same as in time longer or slower? Ours cares and all in. No, same. Yeah. Yeah. Same. 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 So if you're using the dip, if you're using the dip powders um, as 
uh, an acrylic enhancement, using it with a monomer, yeah, it is the same. Same thing to remember though, or something to remember, is that if it's hot, it's gonna set faster. If it's cold, it's gonna set slower. So depending on where you're at, um, in the world and in this season. Yeah, with monomer. Yeah, but with the dip monomer. system cures in a lamp. Yep. So you just... But she was asking about the powders, I think. Um, as dip powders. She dip. said dip powders. Do dip powders set the same? Not um, mon monomer. She was dipping, dipping, dipping. <laughs> well, these are dip powders, so. Yeah. We're glad to use them with our monomers. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we've let all of these cure and finish you know, hardening, so. <laughs> Dominique says that to all of her people because she's covering them all. Covering them all. You go, all Dominique pieces. Walker. It's so awesome. <laughs> you hear a funny noise. I know. I love it. It was very it's whistly. It was. was. Yeah, it was like whistling. like an ice cream truck. Yeah, it did. I was like, usually we're here like, you know, what? police <laughs> sirens or yeah. something. We just heard an ice cream truck mm -hmm. go by. <laughs> <laughs> no, no answer yet from our mainer. It's like if it was a margarita truck, I'd have been like, "I'll be right back." <laughs> so I'm just using the file, going right down the side walls. Mm -hmm. We teach about filing, um, how to have like a system, a zoning system, and you go down. The one, like zone one, zone two, zone three, those are all good things. So Marcy Burns just basically let us all know she's been at this, uh, you know, a little while because she said about, um, do you use a monomer warmer so it doesn't crystallize? Oh. <laughs> Which is so like, you, mm. only old schoolers know that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, ours, absolutely. ours don't crystallize anymore. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. That's an old, old school problem. And it could be a formula that somebody, a uh, brand has just never changed because if it's selling, you don't change it. But ours does not require a warmer. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm. Nancy Moore, I have a client whose hands are always cold. I get her to sit on one while I'm working on the other, but acrylic always takes a long time to set on her. I mean, no, yeah, I, I don't know if Koopa can endorse this, but I know that I do personally. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be in Wyoming and it was very, very cold. Um, sometimes like really cold, 20 degrees below zero, 30 mm -hmm. degrees below zero. People come in with their gloves on and their hands are freezing. Mm -hmm. I had a little heating pad, like right by, right by under their, the towel. Yeah, right under the towel. Mm -hmm. And that actually, like if they just sat here were, and let their hands be warm while I was working on them, mm -hmm. the benefit to that is you don't have to worry about after you've prepped everything, them contaminating their preparation by setting on their hands. Mm -hmm. So that might help you, Nancy, if you have a heating pad for mm -hmm. even just that one client. But you may find that your other clients really appreciate it as well. So just as a recommendation. Alyssa Schmidt wants, Schmidt wants to know from you, how do you know when to cover the nail with clear acrylic or a cover pink acrylic, or does it depend on the nail's design? Um, it definitely just depends on the nail design. I covered it with clear with this one because we're doing a solid color. I wanted that blue under there. Um, this one, we just did cover pink. The free edge is you know, that's fine if we come back through and file most of that off. It's the free edge, you're not gonna cause any damage to the nail plate. Um, this one, we did cover pink almost the whole way and then we came through with our little fade. So, it's really just the design. That's a great question though. Nancy Moore says, smart idea. That'd be a great way to deal with our cold Canadian winters. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. I used to have the same problem because I was in southern Maine and in the winter it was chillier in the salon and people were coming in with cold fingers so I, I know that struggle. Heating pad was the way to go. It, and it's just kind of a nice little, mm -hmm. you know, bonus. So, Alright, mm -hmm. now I'm going to grab this which is probably by far my favorite <laughs> bit. <laughs> um, this is the Typhoon Radius and this is in course. And I have used this to remove dip. I've used it to remove um, gel polish. I've used it to debulk. I'm actually gonna use it now to do some finished filing, okay? So drop that in. We're gonna go up to about the 10 o'clock on the dial. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. Brittany is the best hand model. She's got those nice long nail beds. And she keeps me under camera so well. Um, I actually wrote an article, um, I was like a 
contributing editor for Scratch Magazine. I sent them an article about how to take care of your models because they really do take good care of you. So I was talking more about the competition arena, but this one... Brittany's pretty special stuff. Karen Berryman just made a comment that made me think of something else too. She says the warmth of a heating pad would most likely help stiff hands and fingers to relax too. Oh. But here's another thought. If their fingers are cold, they're going to want them on the heating pad, not holding their phone. Oh. <laughs> you want to get them to put the, hand, the phone down and keep their fingers nice and cozy. They're going to want to have it on the heating pad and not on the phone. You're going to be like, done. Yeah. Looking down the barrel, getting that nice finish, nice and thin. Okay, John Weaver has a, con a question for you. Yes. Do I have to use a clear coat when using a nude versus a stronger colored acrylic? Earlier you mentioned using it so as not to damage the natural nails when e-filing. No, you can use a nude um, instead of a clear. They're like really interchangeable at that point. Uh, really it's just so that if um, she came back in a few weeks and wanted to take this blue off and instead wanted to say black, that we don't have to file all the way down to the natural nail. So nude is fine, a cover pink is fine, clear is fine, any of those work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Valerie's a great question. question. Yeah, that was a good one. Valerie's question, sorry, my phone rang uh, on <laughs> my watch. It's all the Valerie's technology. Valerie's question <laughs> actually reminded me, our typhoon and typhoon radius, just so everybody knows, are cut in one direction, not both directions the only bit in the Koopa Arsenal that doesn't file in both directions. And the reason for that is I actually tested it in both directions. Mm -hmm. And to me, if I was, I would give this a 10. In a cross cut, I would give it a seven on a scale of one to 10. The cross cut dealt them. I didn't like the cross cut. Mm -hmm. So if you're left-handed, like I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed, but when I work on myself, I become left-handed. I use the typhoon, so it's possible to use them whether you're left-handed or right-handed. You just change the direction you pull. Mm -hmm. So we're just using our little bit here, filing down that ball, getting them all nice and smooth. The design that I have coming up on this nail, I'm not worried about getting everything like really perfect up around the cuticle, so this can be a little time saver. Mm. You'll see. That's looking good. Yes, it's really pretty. Nina Gil Harry. That's a cool name. I have a question. How do you sign up with Koopa Nails for classes and from another country? Woo! Lucky for you, all you need is the Facebook app. And when we go live during our classes, which tend to be on Mondays, I think we're talking about March for the next big one. Um, you could be anywhere in the world. The only downside for you is the time zone difference. But once it's over, it goes on our Facebook page and you can watch it anytime. So you can still see Monday's class. Mm -hmm. We'll be there. Mm -hmm. And we have people from all over the world that tap in. Um, we had people from, what do they say, Macedonia the other day, yeah. Australia. So. We had Australia, <laughs> yep. We had the UK, Canadian. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're able to teach everywhere. We're wherever you are. <laughs> I love that. And how many people love being able to learn at their own speed? Mm -hmm. You know, if you come in after the class is over and you're watching it, you can pause, go get your cup of coffee, mm -hmm. come back, continue. Mm -hmm. I love that. You know, the online college started, you know, how many years ago? And this is now something the nail world were able to really tap into because we can be like face to face with you. And mm -hmm. you can see really up close everything that we're doing on these nails. Oh, we have an Aussie in the house. Woohoo! Susie Hagney. Hagney. Uh, Mindy Jones is asking, what does it take to become a Koopa educator? Ah, this is question. something mm -hmm. Phoenix and I have been talking a lot about lately. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be you would have educators in every state. But we don't have, distribution has changed since the 1990s. All the little distributions have gone away. And so right now, um, as far as our education team, we're looking for people close to Anaheim because this is where most of our education happens. Mm -hmm. And when we're all right here, we all travel as a little pack to Orlando. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be a very tight, 
tight. Nice. I know. Very tight I'm teens. sorry. I know. I, I was going to say. Wants to, I think um, I got to come up with some sort of brand ambassador thing. We do. We do. I was yeah. going to say, we travel so tight as a team that when we flew to London last year, or well, like early year last, this year, they flew me here to California so we could all fly together to London. So, like, it's nice to be with your teammates. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, rather than people come. And then we're intimate. Not intimate, like, <laughs> on that way. <laughs> but, I mean, we all see each other all the time, and we work together. I remember back in the day being on teams of, you know, anywhere from 50 to six to 100 educators, wow. and I didn't know half of them. Mm-hmm. You know, you made friends with some, but you didn't get to know everybody. We are a tight little knit group. We are a tight little knit group. Okay, so we have now filed. We do not have to buff these nails at all. We can just go right into using our top coat, which is what's so awesome. I keep this together, or together. I keep this always with me, because mm-hmm. I can just like dust everything off. So we're gonna top coat these three, and I'm gonna leave this one for the last, okay? Mm-hmm. So we're going to use the gel top coat. Yeah, we gotta come up with some sort of brand ambassador thing. Because mm-hmm, even Lucy would definitely be one for uh, us. Yes. I, I, we have so many people I know would be one. I don't know what to do with that though. I gotta figure it out. Let me wrap my brain around it. I gotta, gotta do thinking. something. I gotta be thinking about that. <laughs> we need. We love the love. Uh, John Weaver. Okay, wait a minute. I'll let you keep going. So make sure that when you're applying your top coat, you actually drop your first bit away from the cuticle and then push towards the cuticle and then drag Mm -hmm. forward. That is a trick to avoid flooding the cuticles. What happens if you flood the cuticles with your gel polish, you know? I'm hoping that all of you are saying, lifting! Mm -hmm. (laughs) If you're like talking to the camera. (laughs) John Weaver has an e-filing question for you. It's, um, bear with me, I'm gonna give it all. When e-filing, what direction do you recommend using Top to bottom or side to side? I've noticed when side to side looks more natural for the nail versus top to bottom, but that's my view. When I see top to bottom, it reminds me of those webbed feet that scuba divers use. You know, the passes. (laughs) Yeah, the passes. He's right, you get the passes. It's like flats. Yeah. Okay, so uh, great question, and thank you for the interaction. Mm -hmm. So I do both. Um, I actually go from like top to bottom, cuticle to tip, but using the right cuticle or cuticle but using the right e-file bit is going to help prevent the webbing of the flippers <laughs> okay it'll help prevent that um incidentally as you can see i've gotten the top coat on here these are beautiful they're shiny there's no webbing so i come down this way just so that you can thin out your free edge so it looks nice and thin and uniform all the way across and then i'll come back and go side to side um, just to make everything look nice and smooth. And if you see, and it's hard to like see how my head works because when you're on camera, it's different than when you're like in your salon. But I'm looking from like side to side to make sure that those nails look nice, that they're not like Mm -hmm. lumpy and funny. So, but that looks so pretty. Um, And there's still nail dust everywhere, but we'll get some cuticle oil on there and that'll look really nice. Everybody's already saying they look gorgeous. Aren't they fun? So Mm -hmm. um, let's go ahead and cure these, Brittany. We're gonna go ahead and slide them into our lamp for 60 seconds. In a nutshell, everybody either wants to be an ambassador or an educator. Okay, <laughs> yes. So we have to start a Team Koopa fan club of some we do. sort. <laughs> we do. Yeah. I, um, I, of course, we have like a, a fan club. We love our customers. We, we love our fans. educators, um, our students. We love all everybody who's involved with us. And we've just been talking so much about the last week about how um, we all have a really good working relationship with everybody, and we really like to keep it that mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. And because it's because we're nurturing, and we love our industry, and we just want to keep elevating our industry. So I'm going to take a drink of water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alicia, Alyssa Schmidt is asking me, would Cooper ever think about coming to the East Coast like Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C. for classes? That way other people could have a chance to take hands-on classes that aren't able to get it in California. I would love to say yeah. But the unfortunate part is there's just aren't, they don't, we don't have the training facilities we used to have at distributors like we used to have. And that's why we've had to come to the Internet the way we have. Um, I don't know. Who knows what the future holds? Maybe you'll 
you know, mom and pop distributors, they'll come back. Y'all. And it not just be, you know, go to Cosmo Prof to take a class or something. Yeah. Because that's really happened a lot over the last few Yeah. Even few like years. big shows aren't like they used to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, they used to be a big show in New York. And it's kind of gotten downhill. And, and I've been, we've been to all of those I've big shows. All. And we've seen, we've seen how that things have changed in the nail world. And really, that's why Koopa is on the cutting edge of everything. Like, we want to be able to do this for you because we know that this is where things are heading. Mm -hmm. So, Okay, so we're going to do a cute little finish on this nail, um, the blue nail. And I know you guys have probably seen this done a variety of ways. I just figured out how to do it with just some of our stuff that's kind of fun. So um, I got one of our dipping trays, and I have some white acrylic. <laughs> And we're just gonna take a little bit of it and dump it in our little tray here. Lisa Jacober says we need you here in Northwest Montana. There's no continuing education here. Please, we're, we're there right now. Yeah. <laughs> you're here. Yeah. And, but I know what you're saying about the I continuing do. education because I know a lot of the state boards, they want um, hands-on, they want certificates, they want things like that. So I understand oh. what you're after. We'll Nancy see what we can do. You guys do. may have matching hair, but you and I have matching earrings. <laughs> do we have matching earrings? Yeah, yes, we, we kind of do. Going on. So she put me in your club. <laughs> now my That's belong. so awesome. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Okay, so I'm grabbing this Madame Bejeweled, which is that beautiful silver, and we're going to take it and just drop it a little bit in here and kind of swirl it around. We don't want, it doesn't have to be like mixed in. You kind of want it a little bit clumpy because you'll see what we're getting ready mm -hmm. to do next. They're trying to guess what you're doing. Oh, what so are you guessing? Tell Just me. Marbles. Dominique Walker is marble? Question mark? Whatever. Yeah, this is something Marble that, was uh, yesterday. This is something <laughs> nobody has even demonstrated on the no, show yet. No, so it's going to be fun. Hold your hats. You're about to see something nobody's demonstrated <laughs> on the show here. yet. I'm so excited. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to take our gel top coat, and we're going to put it on this beautiful blue nail. Patricia's just so right funny because she knows what you're about to do. She just keeps going, wait and see, wait and see. Wait and see. She's building wait the suspense. It's coming. It's it's suspenseful. <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. But no, it it's is. It's really cute. It is because I guarantee you, after you're done demoing this now, there won't be quite a few people wearing this art. Yay. Good. In the next few days. Okay, so good. remember, if you guys reenact what she's doing right now, Make sure you hashtag Koopa Fan Faves, F-A-V-E-S, <laughs> and send us your pictures so that we can share them. Maybe we'll have five versions of this next <gasps> That's week. That's hilarious. That would be so cool. Okay, we're not curing this, okay? Instead, we're going to shake this little mixture of the white and the silver over this nail. They're still guessing. Icicles, 3D icicles, marble tie-dye watercolor look. <laughs> oh you guys are not even getting it. So the reason you didn't want to mix it all is you kind of want some of it to have that shimmer over here mm -hmm. and some Sparkly. of it have the shimmer over here. It's just kind of a pretty little mm -hmm. finish. And that's inside that wet, okay? Now, we're going to use this, which is the um, one of the Artfinity brushes, but it has this little retractable daughter. Isn't that cool? And we're gonna use the daughter. Watch close. <laughs> Zoom. Don't look away. <laughs> we're gonna come in here and we're going to carve out. Oops. Don't, <laughs> don't hit it. Don't hit the button. <laughs> don't hit the button. We're gonna carve out little boot prints in the snow. Oh, one, one guess snow angels. That I would have been cute. Yeah. Oh my God, we got to try that one. Okay. That would have been so cute, snow angel. I thought about it yesterday, but I was trying to think how we can make it like oh, really good. Oh, this is cute. Good. I'm going to just start blurting comments and what they're saying. Okay. Because okay. it's so cute. Nancy started with LOL suspense. Dominique Walker. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Lauren Stacy, no way. Marcy's excited because she has that tool. Oh, yes. <laughs> Marcy, got to get my glasses. Oh, <laughs> it's really cute. So you yeah, have look. just like, you know. And it even looks like the snow was pushed away. Yes. So once you have like your little boot prints where you like them, I think they look pretty good. 
cute. What? That's like awesome. Cute. Alicia has seen this technique before. Isn't it cute? I had done this technique with a couple different things, but I had never done it with just the wet top coat. Yeah. And I really, really like how it came out with the wet so top Nancy coat. So Nancy says she has tried this with snow angels with that technique and wishes she could share the photo. Um, you can. If you post, <laughs> yeah, no, but post it and tag me and I'll, I want to see it. Okay, go ahead and carry your hand there. Oh, Alyssa says footprints of Santa in the snow. Yeah, little <laughs> footprints of, you know what it made me think of? Okay, so growing up in Wyoming, when you would get that fresh powder first mm -hmm. thing in the morning and you walk outside the door and there have all that little frosty, like all of the trees mm -hmm. looked like these icicle, beautiful frost. They call it hoar frost is what it's called. What? It's called hoar frost. <laughs> I know, I know. Sorry. It's called hoar frost, <laughs> so but if you look it up, um, it's beautiful. You know exactly what I'm talking about and everything twinkles. And in Wyoming, even though it's cold and we have seasons, you actually have sunshine like 300 and 50 days out of the year. Mm. So that sun was sparkling. Everything looked like diamonds. It was quiet because the snow had muffled everything. And then the first steps that you make in that fresh powder and you hear that crunch, crunch. Mm -hmm. It's just very picturesque. <laughs> so. Laura Stacy wants to see a closer close up, but don't worry because we'll get Marissa to zoom in really tight and show the nail to her <laughs> camera because the overhead isn't always the greatest for tiny details. But. So we're gonna just brush off. There's gonna be a little bit that kind of stick up, stick up. You just grab your little pusher and you can kind of move that out of the way. Too cute. It is really cute. Little footprints. And I was thinking how fun with that with maybe some a little snowman or something. It's just very wintry. So we'll turn it to the side so Marissa can see them. And we'll get you a little bit of oil on you. <laughs> Laura Stacy <laughs> spelled differently, you naughty girl Lily. Right. Um, so um Marcy Burns, is... it's fresh snow. My mom called it a pretty snow. Yep. Fresh snow, fresh powder. Nancy Moore like thinks you always crunch, do the crunch. best sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just add a little bit of oil. And this, you don't top coat it. No, you yeah, lose you all that like it. sugar effect yep. that you get you from the snow. You leave that sugar effect. So. Yep. so if any of you do this, please make sure you do hashtag Koopa Fan Faves so we can see it. And I want to see everybody's version. And then if you do the um, angel in the snow, that would be such a cute thing to do. Thing. With that blue background even, I yeah. think it would be really pretty. I think that blue just makes it all kind of pop. Um, mm -hmm. I actually want to do a full set of nails using this um, as one of the accents with like little white cougar paw yeah. prints. And yeah. then like like the white leopard prints. They still like, want to see the really close cute. up. They're really... They're adamant. They're okay, like yeah, we're gonna... cuticle oil on. She wants you to give you a good presentation. Yeah, I want to make sure. And then we're sure. going to turn it to Marissa's camera, and she's going to be able to get in nice and And tight. real quick, I know that this is just a side note, but you know we've been talking a lot about when you're posting photographs of your work and you have your oil, and make sure that you've rubbed it all the way in, all the way up on those fingers so it so doesn't like look greasy. <laughs> and then once you're getting ready to take your photograph, I really encourage everybody to have like a piece of microfiber cloth and you take it and you rub that across that that fresh top coat so that you don't have those leftover greasy fingerprints instead you have your nice perfect shine on those nails and now Laura she did remember. not top coat the boot print one nope nothing not. goes on that one nope uh, Dominique Walker I have a tiny human client coming in today guess what nail art she's getting oh a tiny human, a tiny human. okay <laughs> So there we so, go. Brittany, maybe you right can turn in. your hand a little bit towards Marissa's camera, and then she's going to come in really nice and tight. Turn everything. Yeah, and then she'll come in tight for that. Um, one more question from John Weaver. Do you think using a sanding band is better for the natural nail versus a Russian manicure bit like those from Aaron? Or I'm not going to say that. Right. The I do. <laughs> when you don't read the question. Yeah, right. But I know exactly. I just recently purchased yeah. some to try on my nail, but I'm afraid I would be damaging my nails as well as clients nails the yeah. thing that I could say is if um, if you haven't had the training to do that particular style of a manicure mm -hmm. I would really not recommend doing it because yeah. of exactly what you're worried about you don't want to cause any damage there's three different bits that we recommend here at Koopa one is the manicure bit which is a 1000 grit 
and it's very small, tiny little barrel. Um, another one is the Enhancement Prep Bit, which is a 500 grit, and it's also a small barrel. Both of which we have had um, photographs done under microscopes. So you can see that there's no damage to the natural nail. Can you get really close to the art? And yeah. then the last one is the Sanding Band, in five, in, which is a 500 grit. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Um, and that's the other one that we recommend. Those are the only three things that here at Koopa we will let anybody use on a natural nail. Mm -hmm. So, John, can you switch to the camera that Marissa's on? Just that, yeah, they really want to be able to. I've never it. had everybody ask so many times, closer, closer, can you, can you? <laughs> so let's give them what they want. What you and want. they don't need to see our faces. Yeah. They can just be looking at the nails while we talk. Um, that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. And also, whenever we work on a natural nail, slowest speed setting. Mm -hmm. That matters mm -hmm. as well. We have a winner. There you go. Yeah. And then, um, and also parallel, parallel, parallel. With the green. To the natural nail, you never want to dig in, so always parallel. So if your nail is like this, your your bit is always going to be like this, never digging, okay? We never want anybody to have those red rings of fire in their natural mm -hmm. nails. So. Okay. so our winner today, Jungle. congratulations, will be Athena Majali. Majali. Yay! Yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations, <laughs> you're going to receive the uh, Divini uh, Divinity Foundation Kit. Mm -hmm which is amazing. I think it's like a value of 75 retail mm -hmm. dollars. Um, the rest of you don't worry though, because today's promo code is KTV35, where you can have 25% off at the website or the Koopa app mm -hmm. uh, on everything except warranty classes, the unicorn and the 24 karat gold passport. Everything else though, fair game. You probably are going to want to go buy some of the Nudie Patootie collection, maybe yes. some of the acrylic powders, anything that, you know, that Phoenix used today. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Phoenix, oh, for thank taking you. over today. Thanks for letting me know. And, and the girls get to learn while they were in class. Yeah, we were talking a lot about, like, how to work under camera, yeah. so it's good. And thank you all for tuning in. We know we have our top fans, but we also see a lot of new faces mm -hmm. every week, and we're always thankful that you all take the time to tune in and, you know, ask questions and interact with us. Without you, there's no us. So thank you so Yay. much for tuning in, <laughs> and we will see you next week, Wednesday, every Wednesday at 11 uh, a.m. Pacific time. And then don't forget, starting January 2nd, mm -hmm. we will be starting the NTNA recap show and following Nails Next Top Nail Artist competition, where we are going to talk about on the second the 24 that made it to the final the yeah. final 24 and then the week after we're going to get down to the 12 and then the week after we are going to be in the throes of this competition so we will see you next week and every yeah. week after that <laughs> thanks so much see you next time bye bye Koopa is proud to introduce Koopa Base Coat, a superior adhesive between nail plate and gel products without damage to the natural nail. Also, Koopa High Gloss and Koopa Matte Top Coats, both no wipe, an excellent sealer, and last two to four weeks. Now we have the Trio Pack, which include both high gloss and matte top coats and a free base coat. For more information, call 1-800-994-5872 or www.koopainc.com.